So, here with you again, and today is the guy that I feel like a lot of people are interested in, Coney Ealy, Missouri defensive end. I'm going to call him a defensive lineman because he plays all over the field, and uh, a lot of fun here, and I really enjoyed what I saw out of him, and I'm going to try and give you guys a real good look at what he does well. So, <clears throat> excuse me, just... uh kind of look at what he does six foot four 273 good size you know can play both inside and outside maybe just on a touch small side for an interior player but I think uh, maybe on a snap to snap basis you can throw him down there maybe not have 700 800 snaps a defensive tackle but moving along the line uh, everything checks out uh, 492 40 time for someone his size is fine you know 22 reps on the bench nothing jumps out as well you know, we got to take a look at this guy and see. I think, if anything, 492 might be on the slower side. We're kind of looking for those outside speed rushers. But I'm going to go into why I don't think that's as big of a deal with him. We have two games, uh, Georgia and Indiana. Uh, I really like both the tapes. And um, hopefully he can show you some good things when he does. And a couple of uh, concerns. So first play, like I said, we'll do George first. So, uh, <clears throat> again, thanks to DraftBreakdown.com for the videos. And uh, let's just get right into this. So, he's playing defensive end, kind of kind of like a seven technique inside eye of the tight end, almost. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of, you'll see him all over the field on the defensive line, inside, outside. 3-tech, 5-tech, 7-tech, 9-tech. He's everywhere. Um, what I didn't like here, the first play, the really kind of watching the game, you know, a minute into the tape, and I had to just stop and go, wow, well, what happened here? It's a wing and a tight end that he's getting blocked by, and my God, it's getting blown back, you know? And uh, <sighs> this concerns me. I want to see some strength at the line of scrimmage. I want to see holding your own, especially against a tight end and a wing. Like, man, that, that's not even a t guard tackle combo, tackle tight end combo. It's you know, it's a little rough there. I have a little trouble sitting there getting excited for him when I see this. And this is like a big. I'm gonna have a red flag on him. I think it's just his ability at the point of attack is lacking at times. I mean, he gets taken for a ride, man. Like this is, this is solid five yards to, takes a linebacker out with him or safety takes the safety out safety gets blocked on the play because of him so you know I want to see him drop to the ground create the pile there I know he probably is outside contained so that's not <laughs> it's not the best case scenario but that's a lot better getting driven five yards off the ball and getting a safety taken out so you know that was the first kind of yikes I saw but the thing is this is what he brings to the table little stutter step to the outside you know kind of gives you that look that maybe I got an outside rush and then rips under and right in the quarterback's face and the quarterback's able to step up and get the pass off but man oh man the inside rush this guy has is incredible I don't know if I've seen an inside rush like this from any guy coming out and drafting a good while you know and I love his technique watch how he refuses to let his tackle get a hand on him this rip move just throws the tackle's hands off. Look at the tackle's hand. Look where it is. It's not on Ely. It's off him, up in the air. I mean, just overall, just great, terrific athleticism, great play, great use of your technique and body. You know, the only thing I say is I just wish he was able to get to the quarterback, but you take the positives, and this is a huge positive. I love inside rushes. Inside rushes are deadly. I mean, you still have the quarterback has to move in the pocket. He has to move up and kind of get rid of the ball it's tougher it's kind of tough inside pressure is always tougher than outside pressure now Murray does a great job there though so <clears throat> this next play concerns me a little bit watch the D Ford video one thing I really love with D Ford is how he had contain Ely gives up contain a lot and this kind of goes back to the point of attack stuff now you know you have contain outside defensive end you're at the point of attack in the sense of 
you're the only line of defense against that quarterback keeping the ball. Now, I know, um, <clears throat> I think this is Aaron, Aaron Murray at the time, right? That's Aaron Murray playing for them. I know Aaron Murray ain't no uh, Cam Newton or Colin Kaepernick or, you know, even, <laughs> you know, the guy can move a little bit, as you see, but, you know, I don't think he's uh, <laughs> Jay Cutler athletic, but maybe he is. I don't have a good feel for Murray, but this isn't someone that I'm expecting that Coney Ely can't match up one-on-one -on -one with. And I just have a hard time watching him go down, get to the right back, and just to essentially tack tackling air. So I uh, want to see more contain out of him. And it doesn't really show up too much. Uh, last play for a Georgia game. Ely's on the outside down here. And just another just bullies himself inside. It's almost like hesitant, but I almost feel like it works because he kind of makes the... Is that a guard? Yeah, it makes a guard. Kind of watch the guard commit. You know, watch the guard's technique here. The guard's where his hands are, then he has to go for a shoulder block. Doesn't really even get his hands on Ely because he's not really sure where Ely's going to go. This inside rush really blew the guard up. The hesitation, I think, is actually a technique thing. I hadn't seen it too much, and I asked someone about it, and they were unsure. So, I don't have a whole lot to go off that. But the guard never gets his hands really on Ely to slow him down, and just almost gets a safety out of it. Really gets tackled in the end zone and should be a safety. Yeah, you know, this is tackled. <laughs> so, you know, I... <laughs> Just a tr another tremendous play. His inside rush is so impressive. It's fun to watch. And, you know, for any type of player, that's what you want to see to me. Like, I love watching guys that are physical inside. So, uh, let's uh, shoot over to the Indiana game. I mean, as in generally, the Georgia game's fine. You see a lot of good things. A lot to like in the Georgia game, for sure. So, if you have interest in going watching it, I think it's real well worth sitting down watching the whole tape. Now, this game, though, this is another animal. Healy really shows what he's made of here. Okay. He has a swim move inside on this. Playing, now, this is where his versatility is, what I was mentioning earlier. He's playing a three technique outside eye of the guard. And, you know... I love that he can play inside. I love that he's not just an outside player. Uh, he, you know, I, I'm. Well, we'll get to that a little bit later. Just watch, just watch this swim move. Just kind of stutters to the outside a little bit. He feels comfortable doing this. Look, the guard's feet. Look how wide he is. There's no way he can block Ely. It just never happening. Not when you go that wide. And the wide, and the wideness comes because Ely kind of stutter steps him. And gets a pass deflection. That's a pass breakup by Ely. Just good look from the end zone. I mean, that's just easy. That's all him. That's a one on one win right there. It's a great play. That is a great play. Love seeing that type of stuff. Here he is again. Down line scrimmage. And there he is again getting blown back. So. Again, we're seeing negative against the double team. I don't want a guy to win a double team. I mean, I do. I want him to win it. But I'm not sitting there going, well, I can't draft him. He's not winning it. Double teams are hard. It's the toughest thing maybe to do for a defensive lineman. But you have to be disciplined. If you start getting blown back, you got to drop to a knee, split it, cause a pile. You just cannot get blown back because look now where the offensive linemen are at. They're beyond the line of scrimmage, really. Linebackers have nowhere to scrape. You know, the offensive line has changed the line of scrimmage to the first down marker for the most part. And that's Ely, that was at the point of attack, that if he maybe can stifle him, maybe this backside linebacker can get across, this wouldn't have been such an easy block for this guy, getting on this linebacker because he would have been able to scrape a little bit easier. You know, it's just, overall, it's just a tough play, and, uh, you know, I, I get worried about his how physical he is in line of scrimmage. That play is just uh, our zone kind of play. 
It's run down from Lion Scrimmage. It's not really getting much accomplished there, but it's run away from him. So, no concerns there. This is... Oh. Uh, another concern play. A low light. One hand stops him. Watch this left tackle. Watch his right arm. Attacks, punches, and I'm going to say this is a very weak punch from the right tackle, and it, like, stutters him. You know? It really gets Ely off balance. That concerns me a little because of how deadly the inside rush has been. He goes for another inside rush, you know, the stutter step, to the outside, tries to come inside, and just one punch to the chest knocks him off. I hadn't seen that anywhere else. But, you know, it concerns me a little bit. You know, it's just, uh, I put a check mark next to that play and say, I want to look at this again, and I want to watch a few other games and see if that happens. Like, does he get countered when he goes for his inside rush? Because if you do one thing very good, people will look for it. You do a lot of things very good, you know, you have more options. Ely does not have a speed rush. It's just not there. Um, the next play I wanted to show just because I like the way he uses his hands. See his hands are kind of out. He gets cut a little bit here, but, you know, he's able to defend himself. And, you know, I just like the ability to shoot the hands and defend yourself against a cup block. He really does a great job using his hands. And that's usually a very good sign of, um, you know, a player that can last. Uh, now here's his third position or fourth position, if you include the seven technique on the tight end that we've seen him in. He's now playing a two-eye, which is just inside eye of the guard. Pretty much is almost a zero technique on the center. You know, just nose tackle. He's playing nose tackle. So we've seen him play defensive tackle, defensive end, defensive end inside an eye of the tight end, and now nose tackle. And they kind of have an interesting defense setup. It looks like a zone blitz of sorts. And, you know, he kind of... I'm not entirely sure what his read is here. I guess when the running back leaves, he just figures I'm le I'm going to blitz. And I just like his reaction, and he gets a batted pass. I love batted passes. Because it's typically just uh, wear, defensive lineman, instinct, you know, just getting up there. and hey, It's an incomplete pass with no chance of anything ever happening. Now, I always end with the play I thought was best or a great play. And this might be the best play I've seen out of any defensive lineman yet. So I'll start from the beginning of it. Ely playing the five technique up here. And go. I went quiet because it's such a fun play to watch. Again. He's lined up outside, maybe a little concerned about the speed rush, though he doesn't show too much of it. But what does he do? Comes inside again, swim moves over the guy, gets a bad pass, goes into his stomach, shows some decent speed. You know, he's out riding the quarterback in an offensive lineman, so nothing amazing, but, you know, didn't get caught from behind either. So, but uh, I just, man, it's just such a, Tremendous play. Just the inside rush he possesses is so damn good that it just it really, really shocks me. I hadn't really noticed him when I watched a few of the Missouri games throughout the year. That his rush is just. Look at. I mean, that's just countering a reach block perfectly. Now, he, he loves going inside, but this is a counter move. You know, he's not really looking to go inside from the snap. But the second the guy goes to reach him, plants his right foot, comes inside, swims over him. Great technique. You know, just watch his right foot here. Plant. He's reading the reach block right now. The right foot's on the ground. He knows he's coming inside. Gets the swim move. Off his tackles blocking grass. And then he's off for the races. <laughs> that's just that's just great football really is just great football. Now, I've watched the play about 20 times now, and I just get a kick out of it every single time. A lot of fun in that play. A lot of good things. And, uh, 
<laughs> right before I cut out. Again, playing nose tackle there. So, Ely, how do I feel about him? Man, you know, a lot to like. A lot to like with him. I, I really feel that his inside rush is tremendous. And that type of talent is very hard to find. You know, inside rushes from defensive ends. You know, if you're watching D Ford, he was going for non-contact, outside rush, a good bit. And you know how I felt about it was that it's great that you have it. You can't teach speed, but I want to be able to teach that ability to be physical and get through. And the odd thing is, is that he's Ely is so physical on those inside rushes. He wins them so often. And then you see the double team at the point of attack, and it's so pa he plays so passively. And it, it just kind of shocks me that you have that kind of disparity between how he attacks the pass rush and how he attacks the run. Now, is that coaching? Whew, I don't know. You know, I'm not entirely sure how they're coached up. You know, it's a lot of times in college, you're limited with the time you have with players. So you can only cover so much. And if you see a guy has a terrific, terrific inside rush, maybe just keep working that so that it goes from being very good to elite status. And you just kind of live with everything else the guy does. I'm not saying that's what happened here, but it, it's not out of the world that that's a potential situation. If I'm an NFL team looking at Ely, I'm looking at a 3-4 defensive end that's going to be a high-impact player. He's not just a guy that I'm going to have out there for two plays and then I'm pass rushing down and I'm going to take him out. Or I'm concerned about his run-stopping abilities. I think he shows at least enough to me that you, know, you can at least coach him up to the point that he's going to be a salvageable, a good run block or a run stuffer. I don't think he's Starla to away or you know any of those type of guys that are just going to come in and you can't run against them. It's not J.J. Watt. But I do think he brings enough to the table that, you know, you can kind of get to that point with him that he's going to be able to stop the run, but you're going to love what he can do with the inside rush and the pass. And that's a lot harder to teach. So, uh, Azili goes, actually one of the guys that I've watched and I've really, really thought that maybe even get a little underrated. I believe I saw him as a mid-second round pick in certain spots. Um... You know, I'm looking at what CBS has him at currently. CBS has him ranked as the third position, 35th overall. Um, third defensive end, potentially off the board. So, maybe, you know, I would have him a little bit higher up there. You know, push him up. I have to look at a little more guys, but he really impressed me when I see I think I see a lot of potential there. And you're kind of drafting off what you're hoping to see out of him eventually as opposed to what he's showing you at the moment. Um, but just because they're concerned about how physically is it at the point of attack, how's he going to be against the run, but man, you know, what he brings to the table at times seems, just blows me away. That last play against Indiana just blows me away. So, Coney Ely, uh, that's against Georgia and Indiana. Um, I'm not entirely sure who will be up next. Uh, I know Ryan Shazier, Shazier, I'll get that right. Uh, we'll be coming up. Trent Murphy as well. I think those are my next two. And uh, so, you know, I'll get them out in some order. And hopefully this weekend they'll be out. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed Coney Ely. And, uh, you know, uh, we have those two guys coming up with a few more. So if there's any more other players that you'd like to see before the draft, I know we got just about a little over two. We're a little over a week now, right? Just under, or just under two weeks. So, you know, I'll try and bust these out during next week, as I'll be moving during the week of the draft. So, have to do this before then. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, and um, see you guys with Trent Murphy soon. See you later.